everyone, I'm Izaki, and today it's time for another Lolita video. If you're into Lolita fashion, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I try to do a video at least once a week, usually on Friday or Saturdays. I also talk about anime and uh, other gothic subculture things. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in that. Okay, so let's get started. I was asked about how to get into Lolita fashion. So today, that's what we're going to be talking about. The first thing that you really want to do when you get into Lolita fashion is kind of decide, is it just going to be your fashion style? Is it just going to be what you're going to dress? Or is it more than that to you? Are you going to become a lifestyle Lolita? Do you like French Rococo era of design of your house? Do you like Victorian style things? Do you, for example, do you want to put lace around your whole house? Like I do. <laughs> like I've got doilies everywhere, i got cute little teacups little tiny glass figurines, um, laces all over my windows, like the whole place is very cutesy and anime, you know, my three favorite things like gothic, lolita, and anime all come out in my whole house. So to me lolita is not just a fashion, it's kind of my way of life, and it's who I am. I was always interested in the beautiful renaissance and Victorian Rococo style everything before I found out what Lolita fashion was. So if it's just gonna be a fashion for you, that's fine. If it's gonna be more than that, then we're gonna do things step by step if you don't already have your room or your home how you want it to be. Lolita fashion and the Lolita lifestyle is all about expressing yourself. So take it step by step and do what you feel comfortable with until you want to go on to the next level, if you want to. So when I first got started in Lolita fashion, I sat down and I did my research about what it was, where it came from, why is it called Lolita? Dear Stalker 2 has some really good explanations about why it's called Lolita and a lot of things that you're going to be asked. If you go and tell your mom, hey mom, I'm going to dress like a Lolita, they probably are not going to think QC and frills, they're going to think something else because unfortunately the book in the movie has given the name Lolita a negative twist. Lolita fashion is all about being conservative, even though there is a substyle called Aero Lolita, which is a little bit more rosque, but we, I've never met anyone that has dressed like that. Uh, just like cosplay Lolita is not really a substyle of Lolita's, you know, like Lolicon not really Lolita fashion. <laughs> so you really want to learn to train your eye about what is Lolita and what isn't. Sit down, find out what an Ita is or what a lace monster is and those are things you want to stay away from. You don't want to look at clothing that says cosplay on it. You don't want to mimic your favorite anime character that might be cute like her or you know different things. I mean there are characters in anime that are Lolita but you're not looking to mimic their exact outfit. You're looking at the different brands, Angelic Pretty, Baby Stars and Bright, Mwame Mwotia, but you wanna look at the Lolita and Gothic Bible, or Gothic and Lolita Bible. You wanna look at the Fruits books, at all the Lolitas there. Um, go on to the Lolita Wiki. Um, there's also the Loli Library, Loli Library, and I'll put all those links down below. Another good thing that if you're serious about getting into the fashion, it's not just going to be a one-time dress-up cosplay thing for you, is to find your local Lolita community. So go ahead and just Google whatever city you're in, Lolita community or Lolita group. Um, for example, I'm in Las Vegas, we have the Las Vegas Lolita group. You know, it's not just the big cities. Find your local group, get in there. And a lot of them, would, I'm sure, would be more than happy to explain to you if you have any questions. Uh, you can always ask me questions below. I'd be more than happy to answer or even make a video for you about certain topics. But don't be afraid to join your community. Don't be afraid to hide in a little nutshell and be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. You know, I'm not full blown into Lolita. I'm kind of scared to ask questions. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Just be yourself and be like, hey, welcome me with open arms. Be like, hi. Once you learn the fundamentals of Lolita, such as you don't want to get skirts that are really short or tops that are low cut, you always want to wear a blouse under a jumper skirt, uh, the basal, basic fundamental rules 
of Lolita because we do have certain guidelines, then that's when you can start going to your local shops and looking for Lolita Bowl clothing. So you may not be able to afford a dress right away. I wasn't either. So go into your local stores. For example, I went to TJ Maxx a lot, uh, JCPenney on the cell rack, and blah, 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 blah. Look for the colors that pop up a lot in your favorite sub-style Lolita. If you like sweet Lolita, then maybe look for baby blue or pastel pink, like this. If you like gothic, start looking for more blacks and dark blues, even reds. It is hard to find basic Lolita Bowl clothing, especially when you're on a budget when you first start out, because you're not going to really be able to afford $300 for a dress unless you have a job and that's all that you are wanting to spend your money on. I'm going to show you some of the basic Lolita Bowl clothing that I got when I first began. And also, you can make your own clothes. This shirt actually came from eBay. And I want to touch on that briefly real quick is when you start off, I really, 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 really don't recommend that you go to eBay. You're going to find a lot of really nasty, trashy things if you look under the word Lolita. I actually found this blouse by Random Chance and it's really cute quality. It was a good price. This was actually $30, American dollars. And it's got super cute lace and it's not super thin material or anything. But it's very rare that you're going to be able to find something cute and actually Lolita style on eBay. So, like I said, I'd recommend that you stay away from it because a lot of it on eBay is going to be cosplay things. So let's jump right in into different items that I found. Um, I really like Claire's. I also really like to go to the kids section of different things. You can find some really cute like hair clips that have lace and the doily kind of look and really fancy that you're not going to be able to find kind of anywhere else. So I actually got these socks from Claire's and they can be used with more casual Lolita or if you have those kind of colors and they just got little bows and they're super cute. I also got these socks from Claire's and when you put them on, I use this ones a lot, it looks like this going down. And I think I got both of these for only a couple dollars because Claire's has the 10 for 10 deal a lot. If you're into the Cadona boy style, these tights are a must. Just black and white striped tights, striped tights and plain color tights you can get kind of anywhere really and they're great for any Lolita. This is a skirt that I got when I first started out. Got a bunch of blue stripes and my grandma helped me add some lace to on the bottom. It's already got a bunch of pleats and what you really need to do is just get a liner um, but it just already has lining in it, but you want to get a liner for underneath your petticoat and go ahead and invest in a couple different sizes of petticoats, really cheap. So you can just get this and you puff it out and I would wear this with uh, light blue tights or white tights and a little white shirt kind of like this. I had a more simple one that has a bunch of ruffles down the front, you know, short sleeves, and I wore that a lot in high school. If you're doing punk Lolita, that's a little bit more easier. You just want to find a black ruffle top and I always used my plaid skirt and I would just put a little petticoat underneath it and puff it up. I would wear it with even like these socks right here with the black short sleeve ruffle top and you can add lace gloves which you can again buy from Hot Topic or Claire's whatever cutesy little stores in your area. So if you can make your own clothes, my grandma actually made me this skirt. And I bought this pattern from Joann's and it's just little baby blue with cute little stars and she added some lace on the bottom. My grandma's very talented with sewing. I'm actually wearing another skirt right now that she sewed and I'll show that later on. So back in high school I did a lot of EGL like Mana has. Mana is my absolute number one. I love him to death. <laughs> So I would always try to mimic how he looked. I had this black jacket that was a little kind of form-fitting and, and cool and I would wear that with black pants and um, high black boots and a ruffle shirt like this. But I would wear a lot of the aristocrat style and this one has a bunch of buttons on the sleeves and a little bit of lace at the end and it's got lace around the side. Another shirt that I used is this one, is just um, plain buttons. Again, this is more kind of like aristocrat and Kodona style. And then the last shirt, another ruffle one. Just really simple ruffle. And this one just, and this is great. These kind of ruffle shirts like this, 
or one that you can find with lace straight down the front are perfect under JSKs, which are jumper skirts. And that's another thing, is you want to learn the lingo for Lolita fashion. That way you know what everyone's talking about and you know how to ask questions. So from the clothing I just showed you there, I would take a skirt or pant combo with the top. You don't necessarily have to be in skirts or one pieces all the time or jumper skirts all the time. It's okay to have a more casual look when you start out, which is what I always did. And it is a little bit harder to have the full one pieces every day if you don't have a very big budget. And don't feel the pressure to have to be perfect. You also want to start off and invest in different items that can be used to be switched out and make different cords or coordinates. For example, the white frilly tops can go with a couple different skirts that have white in them. If you do have a bit of a budget to work with, another great site that is for starting off is Bodyline. And I'll put the link below to this and a couple of the other sites I've been saying. Bodyline does have some really cute skirts and one pieces and everything. I did a Bodyline um, haul video. I'll put the link for that as well over here. I know that a lot of people feel like they have to have brands right away and that's not necessarily true. It's okay to not have anything brand or to not even have anything body line, but to just have off brand things that does not make you less of a Lolita, that does not make you necessarily a be beginning Lolita. You know, you can even go to thrift shops. No one's gonna know where it comes from unless it's one of those people that are really snooty and be like, oh, brand is everything. Don't worry about them though. You're not doing it for them. You're not doing it to impress another Lolita. You're doing it for you. You're doing it because it makes you happy and it's you expressing yourself. It's all comes down to it. So basically that's how I got started into Lolita fashion. And I did ask family members, hey, if you're gonna buy me clothes, these are the kind of things I'm looking for. Because the more I that you have looking for lovable clothing, the easier it's going to be. And I know that my grandma helped out a lot. She used to absolutely love to go to JCPenney, so she'd always be popping up with frilly shirts and stuff. And that was really cool and really helpful. So go ahead and tell them, hey, if my birthday's coming up or blah blah is coming up, go ahead and either give me money or body line or whatever. Or, you know, if you're going to buy me clothes, this is what I'm looking for. So now let me show you my coordinate real quick. cuffs and I just got my ring on really simple today um, I got cross earrings on and this is a skirt she made and she made a bow so the pattern is like this she added lace and it's really cool because it's got some sailboats and the navigation compass and the globe and I got two petties underneath it. And this is the shirt in the back. And it's got the lace up, which I really love the detail that they added. I don't know if you can see. There you go. And for socks, I just have really simple white tights right now on. And then when I get my white body line shoes that fit, that'll complete the outfit. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, interact with me. And comment below if you have any questions or if you like this video and you want to just talk to me. My name is Isaki. Subscribe. I put videos out every week. And I really hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye. May the force be with you.